we're going over our top five favorite Hollywood Studios quick service restaurants. Let's eat. I'm Jay. And I'm Sam. And you're watching the Theme Park Foodies, and we are here at Disney's Hollywood Studios to over our top five favorite quick service restaurants. This is actually one of my favorite parks for food, Sam, believe it or not. Yeah, and I gotta say, like, coming up with this list was really tough, and I Big think... debate between Yeah, them. I really don't even think that we really agree, but for the <laughs> sake of the video and just getting it done, I was like, all right. Well, we had, a, we had a seasoned debate about what we think should be number one, what we think should be number five, and what we came to the conclusion about is we... We had chosen a top five based off of uh, how explorative maybe the flavors are at the place you can get, how unique they are, but I think our number one or our number twos are mostly based off of what can make the whole family happy. Not just us. Yes. Uh, so we enjoy all of these spots here for different reasons, but as usual for us, we don't actually just name them. We go to these spots like we did for our Epcot one, and we actually eat one thing from each spot to see if the spot sticks the landing. So we're going to do like a little food crawl throughout the day here, uh, maybe trying out some of our favorite things here to eat at Hollywood Studios as well, and going over our top five favorite Hollywood Studios quick service restaurants. I'm excited. Yes, me too. Are you ready? ready. All right. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Join us for our top five food crawl here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. All right. Heading in and heading over to number five. All right. And Namode is out meeting and greeting right in front of the Chinese theater. You have any like good costumes you've been you've been creating right, lately? You have any new superheroes maybe we should know about that'll be showing up here? Oh, uh, you won't say anything, will you? Everything's under wraps with Edna Mode. All right, coming in at number five, right next to Sci-Fi Dine-In is Baseline Tap House. They've got beers. They've got giant pretzels, and I mean, I guess some people wouldn't consider this a quick service spot because it's more of a bar. The lounge. They only have four things. So they have this pretzel. They have a coffee rubbed ribeye puff. They have a really nice charcuterie board, and then they have almonds. So not much of a variety, but what they do have, I think. It is good. It's unique, and it's a local favorite. Your Mickey pretzel, and get this pretzel. Yes, this is one of the most popular pretzels in Disney. It comes with a beer cheese sauce as well as a yellow it's a spicy mustard. mustard. A spicy yellow mustard. I feel like it usually looks a bit fresher. I think it looks pretty good. I think the dips are what make it. Yeah, oh, look at that. See that little crust on top? That's how you know it's a good cheese. It's got a good crust. I'm excited. You also got the uh, orange cider. Looks very good. Blood orange. We've had before. We do enjoy it. And they have beers that are very popular. All right, I'm going to say the pretzel. This isn't the best version of this pretzel that we've had. Still, I think it's better than the Mickey pretzel. It's that beer cheese is what. Yeah, the beer cheese is where it's at. Makes this pretzel worth it. And it's definitely shareable. I'm gonna give this pretzel a seven. I think it deserves a seven. I think we actually should have got the um, the puff. The puff is really good. The puff is very good. The pretzel is also very popular as well as the charcuterie board. Oh, what would you give the beer, Sam? You had a few sips of that off camera. That sounds really good. The beer? I really like this. I'm gonna go eight. It's not like, I normally don't like beer. But this well, it's actually, it's a cider, actually, I should say. But it is sweet, and it's, we enjoy it's, sweet drinks. It's not overly sweet. It's actually like a refreshing beer. Nice. All right, we had to go with the vegan Vicky showing off her drink. This is our friend Vicky. She's also a vegan, much like our friend Nick. Uh, and believe it or not, alcohol is vegan. Yes. Well, <laughs> this type is. <laughs> this has vodka in it and orange juice. Sour mix. Southern Comfort Sweet and Sour. Pomegranate juice. Oh wow. It's really good. It's, I, what is it called? The California Sunset? Yes. And as you can see, it looks like a sunset. It's delicious. I would give it an 8 out of 10. Um, just because it's not super strong, but it's very sweet. So if you like 
fruity drinks, I would definitely recommend. All right, we're heading to number four and we actually don't have to go too far. All right, number four is themed after a Hollywood backlot. It's right next to Star Tours. It's Backlot Express. There's like a painting area, tons of shade if you dine outside, a air-conditioned indoor uh, interior where there are a bunch of movie props standing around, and it has food for the whole family. Our friend Vicky, the vegan, has gotten a vegan teriyaki tofu bowl. What do you think of it so far, Vicky? Um, it's delicious. The rice is very sticky. Um, the sauce is very flavorful. The tofu is lightly crispy on the outside, so they cooked it really well because I hate when it's mushy. And then these like edamame, peppers, carrots, onions have like a different sauce on them, which is also... It looks good. really good. We had the uh, standard uh, chicken teriyaki bowl here before. I would say that was a, a, a complete seven. Uh, it's got food here for the whole family. It's got like burgers, standard fries, st those standard Disney fries here. Uh, and it's referred it's, I'm sorry, refrigerated. It's, you know, Con uh, air conditioned. It's indoor. And it has some novelty items too. The Wookiee cookie we're about to have. But I want to get your thoughts on some of the vegan options here. So where would you rate this, Vicky? I would say this is uh, probably an 8 out of 10. Wow. That's yeah. that's really high marks. Really yeah, there's a I reason. The textures are good. That's yeah, for well me texture that. adds a lot to flavor in regards to a dish. And like you said, you don't want mushy tofu. You want no. kind of like that tough exterior and you feel like you have the edamame, so that adds a different texture, the yeah. rice. Uh, it, and it's, I think it's executed well. I can tell you from experience, the chicken one is also executed very well. All right, Sam, number four, Backlot Express. This is the only place where you can get the Wookiee cookie. It has some people pleaser foods too. Um, I, I like that, you know, the indoor interior is, is air conditioned, the ex outdoor exterior has a lot of shaded seating, um, and it's themed like a Hollywood backlot, so it's kind of like a, a nod, or it really is um, kind of that experience you get from the original iteration of MGM Studios or Hollywood Studios with that backlot experience. The Wookiee Cookie is a reason to come here. It has increased in size since it first came out. Yeah, usually things get smaller. Yeah, and it's two uh, oatmeal cookies. Uh, with a cream interior. Should I open it up? Yeah. Look at that cream. Watch out for the... Yeah, so it's got a little Chewbacca's chocolate. little lanyard. It comes off pretty easy, and it's really just milk chocolate. So I usually just take that off. But this is a fun novelty, a shareable item. And we'll see if it's good as I remember. The peanut butter cookie. It's peanut butter? <laughs> I thought it was oatmeal. No, it's peanut butter. Right Did now. they change it? All right, it's oatmeal. It's, it's oatmeal. Uh, I was wrong. I feel like I taste peanut butter for some reason. Uh, but I also feel like it serves better to just take one side off. I feel like it's like an oatmeal cream pie. Mm. You're right, it's like an elevated like I, oatmeal yeah. cream pie. I could see Chewbacca enjoying this. They used to have, I think, a Darth Vader like a cupcake, cupcake yeah, yeah. I also I feel like there was like a was Southwest bowl or something else yes. here very good dishes very yeah. flavorful very fresh yeah and it's it's sticking the landing I can tell you that uh, the cream it's not like that heavy type of cream it's like this light airy just look at that just comes like right off it complements the flavor of the oatmeal cookie very well it, it kind of feels like it could be healthy it's definitely not uh, because it has oatmeal in it. It tastes good. Um, I love the atmosphere, the ambiance. I'm gonna give this cookie a seven. It's a good cookie. It could be a little sweet for some. Um, I do think it, it's almost better when you just take one half of it off. And it's pretty big, so it's shareable. A good cookie and a great environment. All right, coming in at number three, Ronto Roasters. This is in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Now, it's right next to Docking Bay 7 Food and Cargo. Unfortunately, Docking Bay 7 Food and Cargo didn't make this list, Sam. It's not one of our favorite spots to eat here. I hear that the offerings in Disneyland may be a bit better than the ones here, but Ronto Roasters actually has a really cool animatronic that sits right outside. You can watch it roasting the Ronto that you're about to eat. It's basically like a straw dog almost. It's like an elevated hot dog um, on a pita bread. Delicious. One of our favorite things to get in Hollywood Studios. So unique, so atmospheric, right Sam? Yes, and it is a very limited venue though. So they have yes. this and they have uh, pork rinds and then they have a few vegan options as well. The dog, a 
as a vegan option. And then our friend Vicky's here. She's going to be get, eating uh, one of the vegan options for us. Uh, so let's bite into the lot. So it's pork remember. and sausage. Oh, yeah. And a tangy pork on top. slaw. I love the sauce that's on it. And the pita is always really good. It's just one of those. And they have breakfast uh, Ronto wraps, too. It's like the perfect snack. Like a snack you want on a hot dog. A little bit of spice cooled down by the by the cold slaw. And then the pork on top adds just a little bit more savoriness to it. On the pita, it's delicious. It's so good. Yeah. It's something I think of when I think of Hollywood Studios in Walt Disney World. A place that I have to go to, something I have to get. For me, this is eight. What do you think, Sam? You got I, I agree with you. And it this definitely stuck the landing. It's, kids will love it. Something maybe not for everyone. It is a little bit adventurous. Why it doesn't have two or the one spot? It's got an overhang, so you won't get rained on. And you got some cool animatronics and some lots of little roasty right in front of you. Yeah, and for me, it just brings it all together. Eight of a food and number three for our top cook service time. All right, Vicky, the vegan Vicky. We have another vegan to hang out with Nick. So you're going to be trying out one of the vegan options here. Sam, what is this? It, it looks okay. alien. So it, I'm going to put off the correct name because I'm not going to try to say it. But inside of it are sticks of jicama, cucumber, pineapple, melon, drag and dragon fruit, doused in a tamarind sauce, and dusted with peppercorn ash. This is so interesting. Yeah. How do you feel about this? Okay, so I've had the pineapple, and I like it by itself, but I do feel like the sauce has a very specific taste to it that I'm not, like, familiar with. Tamarind, yeah, that, that is an interesting option. But it's good with the cucumber. I haven't tried the dragon fruit yet. Um, if you like, I guess, like, a spicy, kind of savory sauce with your fruit, it's good. Okay. For me, I wouldn't think be into that. I'd like my fruit yeah. to be sweet. I think with the cucumber, it's really good. I don't know how I feel about it with the sweeter options in here. Does it feel alien? Does it feel like it, like, complements, yeah. like, all of this? Yeah. It definitely does. I feel yeah. like this is, and the way they cut it, too. I definitely feel like this would be in Star Wars. So it definitely stuck the landing on theming. Uh, what would you give it? One out of ten. A five. Okay, well, it's, it's just not your flavor, though. So, so it's, someone else might like it. It's yeah. Something fun to note here. They actually use a spaceship engine to cook the Ronto. You get to eat right next to the freshly roasting Ronto. That's actually just a pork rind, I think, though. All right, we are off to our number two spot, one of our favorites in Hollywood Studios. All right, so Woody's Lunchbox, number two on our list of top five best places to eat at Disney's Hollywood Studios. It's right outside Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, uh, so not too far from Ronto Roasters. We've been staying pretty close to the chest throughout this crawl, and it's themed with stuff that the whole family will love, uh, like these uh, tachos, Sam. They have two they're, varieties. They're my favorite. So the, the one that Sam and I got, this is the non-vegan variety, but v Vicky, the vegan, <laughs> she got her vegan tachos. So you can tell like the cheese definitely isn't as melty. Um, what type of meat Don't is that? knock her cheese. <laughs> I'm not gonna starting off with the insults. <laughs> yeah, so this definitely, that's how I could tell this was vegan, because the cheese wasn't melted. Yes. Like separately. How's the meat though? The, the, it's the good. Feet, you literally, thing. you can't tell the difference taste-wise at mm. all. That's okay. why I had to go and ask to make sure, because okay. you never know. Yeah. <laughs> But I think they put the chili on top and then the, the cheese underneath for the vegan. That one, it's the opposite. Yeah, so for this one, you have some sour cream, you have some chili on top, then you have some mixed cheeses, uh, obviously a more melty cheese. And then you have some uh, I wanted, I wanted tots at the bottom, which makes them tachos. Potato barrels. And there's like little crunchy Fritos in there, aren't there? Mm. And I, this is one of my favorites, and I feel like it's so filling. So you can definitely... They Share have adult it. drinks too. Yes, so the grown up lemonade. They have gourmet Pop Tarts, which Sam is going to try next. And then the theming here is so nice because everything kind of looks like it's something that you would find at a lunchbox. They even have Bay Belt cheese that you can sit on. Connects. Built right next to you. The, the issue is, and why this isn't number one, do you know why, Sam? Because of the sun. The sh there's no shade in here. Vicky is melting. Sam I'm is hiding her. in the shade right now. I don't even know how the, um, the light is on this camera. 
but you gotta, you gotta get some shade when you're here to try to find it. Uh, but that is why this doesn't make number one. But the theming is on point, blends in beautifully with the land, the food is good, the tachas are delicious, crunchy, soft interior with the chili on top. Vicky, what do you give yours for a number? I have to go with a 9 out of 10. The only reason it's not a 10 is because the cheese isn't melted, mm -hmm. and I feel like it could use a little more salt, but it's still very good. See, for mine, I think I'm going to 9 too. Like, it's, it's just such an original type of dish that you can really only find in a place like this. It's delicious, but you got to find shape. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we already broke this one in half, but it is the Woody's Lunchbox Tart. It's a gourmet Pop-Tart. This one just came back. It's the chocolate hazelnut variety. Sam and I love these, although there have been complaints that they are a bit dry. Yeah, they do switch out the flavors um, seasonally, and there's a strawberry one, too, that we really like. I think this one is actually my favorite, though. But going back to like the theming in this area, I always feel like I'm like fighting for my life over here. Like it just always feels like this is the hottest spot in the yeah. entire. It's almost like a black top like, almost. It's just wild, and there's yeah. no like not a lot of seats. That's why it didn't hit one. No. Otherwise, it has pretty much everything. It has alcoholic drinks, unique food, food to yeah, enjoy the whole family. Grilled cheese too, and the brisket. Yeah. Like, there's some really good options here, and it's definitely like family friendly. And you can see Slinky Dog going by in the background. So this is the chocolate hazelnut. Mm. So good. Like Jay said, it's a gourmet pop tart. Some people do think it's too dry. It doesn't bother me. I like it. It has like a thin layer of the hazelnut. It's perfect for me with the icing. A little bit of texture from the crunchies on top. I enjoy it. Something that I re will repeatedly get. I would go eight. I would agree with your eight. Woody's is, is doing well, eight and nine, so I can't wait for number one. All right, so I, I do think number one will be a bit controversial, but it's a place that Sam and I enjoy a lot, and we think it brings kind of everything together here at Hollywood Studios. All right, drum roll. All right, too loud, too loud. We are at ABC Commissary. It's tucked kind of to the left if you are facing the Chinese theater. It's close, actually, to sci-fi dining as well. I know, I said, this would probably be a little controversial. A spot deemed after a commissary for ABC, basically a cafeteria that ABC uses. But it is so wealthy, there is air conditioning. There are unique items like- Restrooms, air restroom, conditioning, seating. Buffalo grilled cheeses, a Mediterranean salad, a mint cheesecake. So the items are unique, yet they can please the whole family, the interior. Pretty well themed. It feels like I'm in the ABC commentary. It feels somewhat exclusive to me. Uh, I don't think this would be everyone's favorite spot, but I tried to rate this based off of what I think the whole family would enjoy and an immersive environment. And strangely enough, I think the ABC commentary, a spot that we didn't try out until recently, is my favorite spot to get a, you know, a quick bite here at Hollywood Studios. Yeah, and after a super hot day at Hollywood Studios, I'm telling you, like, this spot feels the best. Yeah. Like, it's uh, the most comfortable. Yes, and the food is good. It feels elevated, especially one of my favorite things in all of Hollywood Studios, this buffalo chicken grilled cheese. Now, if you've watched our videos recently, I think you guys realize that we do skew towards the cheese variety a bit more. We are fans of cheese. A uh, 10, one of the first 10s we ever gave was the Milton's grilled cheese um, over in Hershey Park from uh, Milton's Ice Cream Parlor. This is not on that level, but it is a standout grilled cheese that comes with a buffalo dipping sauce. I'm gonna have some of it right now, see if it holds up. I think last time I gave this a nine, right, Sam? I think so. And you can get it with steak fries, apples, or a salad. Uh, we went for the fries because the salad, I think, has like cranberries. It's a, it's a sweeter salad, and Jay's not into that, but. So there's a little, obviously, that little bit of heat. Not a lot, but a little buffalo sauce heat that's kind of cooled down with that delicious cheese. It kind of tastes like almost a cheddar cheese, a sharper cheese, and then it's just perfectly cooked. Crispy on the outside, soft interior, and these steak fries too. Crispy on the outside, soft interior, warm. You, Sam, you just had a steak fry. How good yeah, was that? Yeah, very good. This whole dish, I give a nine to. Very close to a 10. It's quality food in a themed environment. That's cool. It's, it's kind of like in a tight corridor too separated and if you dine outside they do have some outdoor seating there's tons of shape you know because it's kind of like down a small lane 
so good. Sam, you want to try something new we never had before today, actually. Yeah, minced cheesecake. Yes. So um, I think she's gonna, we're gonna try this out now. All right, ABC Commissary, mint cheesecake. Looks pretty minty. Um, and New York, I mean, I think the ABC Commissary is in New York, right? Or is it in, no, California? I don't know. You don't know, we're gonna find out. See how that flakes off? It's got a good crust. Oh, this is interesting. It's chocolatey to me. I wonder, is the mint just on top? Or is the mint mixed in? We're about to find out. Hmm. I do taste a little mint inside. It kind of tastes like the Andes mint chocolates. Okay. In a cheesecake form. But I don't, I don't feel like it's super minty, and it's not like toothpaste mint. Like there's different types of mint. I agree. This is the toothpaste mint. It's a super creamy cheesecake. Does it taste like a New York cheesecake or a different variety of cheese? New York style. Yeah. So with like a crusty kind of out exterior, soft interior, and that kind of like mintiness on top and interior and inside. Let me get some of this. Yeah, that goo looks like it's delicious. So the inside isn't too minty. So if you're not, so don't write it off. If you don't necessarily like love mint, I still would give it a try because it's not super powerful. It's light. Look at G-Scape. And for quick service and it's super cute. I like the little logo. I'm gonna go seven. Yeah, it looks really good. My grilled cheese was a nine. We're inside. I am a fan of mint. Yes, so you have to be a fan of mint. Yes, I'm also a fan of buffalo. Strong, and it's not the toothpaste mint flavor. Inside, good food, unique food, high quality. I know it might be controversial, but ABC Commissary, that's it's our number one. Right, what a great crawl. So many like classic and awesome just like quick service options yeah, here. Yeah, and we didn't get it today, but the Mediterranean salad at ABC, I love. Like it comes with like a ton of pita, extra pita and hummus to have with it. And it's really delicious and like good for like a hot day. It's not like a heavy meal. I agree. Just so you guys know, we are filming this in order. Uh, we're here throughout an entire day. So we're going by what's closest and then we're plugging in these clips as... So we didn't film them in the top five order. Yeah. So some things will seem... See, may seem a little wonky or, or out of place, but that's because we wanted everything to be in order. All right, so that does it for our top five food crawl here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Top five best quick service options. I think our number one stuck the landing, Sam. Uh, Vicki, you were looking at the California burger they had, which is, yeah. uh, it looked really good. Didn't have it yet, but I, you had that, which is delicious, yes. right? Next time I will definitely try the California burger though. Yeah, the ABC Commissary, great aesthetic and environment, uh, cooling, relaxing atmosphere. Uh, so what did you think of the top five food crawl? I think we had a great time today too, right? Yeah, I think that I would put baseline a little bit higher on my list, but it's okay, I understand. Um, I think baseline is good. I just, I actually would put uh, behind what's behind us, Backlot Express higher on the list. Really? I almost think that after eating, seeing her bowl, remembering the fond memories we have, here at the Backlot Express, that it almost deserves that number two slot. But this is why we eat when we crawl, when we rank, because sometimes something pops up and uh, I just, I us. really like the dips that came with the pretzel. And we didn't get the charcuterie board today, but that charcuterie board is, it's beautiful. It comes on a really nice yeah. board. You know, the charcuterie <laughs> board's nice. Honestly, you can't go wrong with quick, anything. Quick service, yeah. I think they're really bringing it. I just feel like they're more of a bar, which is why I put them at five. We told you guys at the beginning of this video, there was a, a spirited debate about this top five. So what we can really tell you is we recommend pretty much everything that was on this list. And Vicky, as someone who got to experience a lot of these places for the first time during this crawl, what was your particular favorite? Out of what you've seen and, and maybe tasted? Uh, that's hard. I'm like trying to even remember. Well, the drink was really good from- Baseline? Uh, yes, <laughs> which is why I can't remember. Um, the tofu bowl is actually really, really good. Yeah. The only thing I wouldn't get again was the fruit cup. Oh from yeah, Ronto Yes. Ronto. It was not, I don't recommend Ronto it. Ronto Roasters Limited Menu. Honestly, <laughs> I think I may have slipped, slipped that up to the five. 
But I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with the top five that we've done. Let's not get too complicated here at the end. We had fun, it was delicious, and if you guys are planning a trip, or if you just wanted to be transported to Hollywood Studios, we hope this video may have helped you out a bit and maybe helped plan what you eat, or maybe you realize by seeing some of these things, maybe something you don't like, so maybe something you do like. And if you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Liking will really help our channel grow. It pushes this video out into the stratosphere of the YouTube algorithm. It helps other people find the video. Subscribing, it also helps our channel grow. Hit the bell notification so that way you're notified every time the videos come out, which is when, Sam? Every Monday and Thursday at 12 p.m. Thanks so much for watching. Don't count the days. To make the days count. We will see you next time. That's all, folks. I got a little sugar rush from that Wookiee yeah, cookie. Yeah. <laughs> you I feel, I'm I like feeling I good. I can't even think that fast. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly get nervous, which is why I talk so fast. Little little uh, story about me. But I, honestly, Sam, I think every spot we had... No, we everything said... was good, and I'm glad that Vicky was here because I think it's great, too. Like, if you have a vegan in your party, like, those options that we showed today had good things for them, too. I agree. It wasn't just regular food. I think, honestly, I may have liked this crawl more than the Epcot crawl. Oh. I liked the Epcot crawl, but I just feel like... The, I honestly think the food was better. Um, I wasn't expecting it to be, but I feel like Epcot is just such a large park. It's hard to maintain consistency. And I think here, everything you had was consistently good. Agreed.